Howdy, we back. So look at this. Look at all this. Look at look at all this. We got we got a new we got a new thing. We got a new we got a new background. We got a new channel. We got new everything. This is the new Poke Monday show. Yeah. So as you guys probably saw from my last update video on my own main channel and the fact that you are here, the Pokemon Monday show has gotten its own channel. And I said not to think about it as another one of my channels, and I said it's not my channel, and yet here we are with me on this channel. But when I said that this is not my channel, I meant that because I am no longer doing this alone. The Pokemon Monday show will continue in its regular weekly format, bringing you quick, up-to-date, and entertaining news in the Pokemon world, but... It's not just gonna be my face on your screen anymore, so get ready for that. Three other people are gonna be joining me for the Pokemon Day show to be your hosts. So that's right, the Pokemon Day show now has four hosts rather than one. Are you excited yet? No? Okay. Who's it gonna be from week to week to week? You'll never know because it's not gonna be in any kind of particular order. Just one of four people, whoever can do the Monday show that week, are gonna do it. So it'll be a nice little surprise on whose face you're gonna see on Monday to bring you your Pokemon news. And I think that's gonna make the Monday show a lot more interesting. Now, who are these hosts, you are probably asking, or you've probably already guessed, and a lot of you uh, may have already been right or not, but I'm not telling you. Still, it's a lot of fun to keep you guys waiting, so here is how this is gonna work. Starting today, throughout the rest of the week, one of four hosts will upload their own introductory video introducing themselves to this channel right here, starting with me. Hi. I'm Nate Wants to Battle. I'm the first host. I know. You're surprised. But then tomorrow, the second host will upload their introduction video, and so on and so forth. So with that out of the way, let's move on to some Pokemon news, huh? Huh? Yeah. This past week, Google Maps introduced the Pokemon Challenge in which you open up the Google Maps app on your computer or your smartphone and catch Pokemon all around the world. The trailer showed off some awesome footage of people having to climb different terrains, use their camera on their smartphone, and actually use virtual reality through the camera in order to catch these Pokemon. When in reality, you sit there, you swipe, you tap a sprite, you caught them. Yay. Now, honestly, this was a semi-April Fool's joke, but at the same time, it was really, really, really smart marketing tactic. I mean, all they did was add Pokemon sprites to their already existing iPhone app, and boom, a lot of awareness. Good on you, Google. You need way more money. Please don't fire me. It's been revealed that America and Europe will be holding what's called the April Friendly, an official Pokemon battle competition using single battles. The rules are all Pokemon must be Kalos caught or bred and there are no restrictions. So Mewtwo, Zygarde, Xerneas, all fair game. So it's not that real or serious of a competition. I mean, how real can a competition be if the rules are- Are you guys do whatever you want? Who kids have fun now? Use your legendaries and we'll have a fantastic time. More news in the competitive realm. It's been announced by the official Pokemon Twitter that they will be holding auditions for Pokemon BGC commentators. Here's my audition tape. 720 no scope fashion. I think we got this. If you actually are interested in being a commentator for the Pokemon VGC, you can find details at Pokemon's official website. Pokemon.com is their website. The new TCG expansion known as Rising Fist has been revealed. It will consist of over 96 new cars and deal a lot with Mega Goku, I mean Lucario. On April 3rd, the special known as Strongest Mega Evolution Act 1 aired. This is a spin-off off of the anime with a completely new trainer named Alan who is on a quest to defeat every single Mega Evolution. I haven't personally watched it yet, but that sounds freaking baller. You had me at no ash. And that's all the Pokemon news for this week. Now, our common question to you is if you could implement Pokemon into any kind of existing mobile app or feature such as Google Maps implementing Pokemon hunting via sprites into Google Maps, what would it be? Personally, I would implement all Pokemon information into Siri, not just bring up everything they know about it, but make it really specific. This would be really useful in competitive play. Let's say you're fighting something you're not really familiar with. You could just bring up Siri and be like, Siri, what's this guy weak against? Boom, answers. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Pokemon Monday channel for more weekly Pokemon news. With that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day, week, month, your life, and tomorrow you guys will be meeting your second host. Stay tuned.